Right guys, hello. So more on the Sega Dreamcast with the ReDream emulator on Android, all about using front ends. I was very excited yesterday morning, private message from the developers with an attachment, an APK file for me to install ReDream with a launch intent implemented. This means we could use front ends. I tested it for them, said it works great. They were like, cool, we'll push the update out. So as long as you have the latest version of ReDream now, check for an update, you can use your favorite front end of choice. The reason we're on the Redream screen right now is just so you can see I'm not a premium member yet. You do not need to be to use it with front ends, just in case you were wondering. I will upgrade to premium. I will buy the developers a beer. They work hard. They listen to our questions and issues and, and work very hard to get all this stuff resolved. But some of you keep asking how to get this stuff working. So what we're gonna do is just scoot across to the Google Play Store, quick shortcut maker. If you install this on your phone, it's gonna make your life very easy. I don't think you'll find it on the Play Store on an Android TV device, but you can always sideload the APK if you know how to do that. Mm -hmm. So we'll just go across where I've already opened it up. So there we go. So what I've done at the top, normal search, not incremental. You can see where I've typed to redream. I've hit the search button and it's just filtered it. I don't need to see everything on the phone. I want to know the setting for Redream. So we would tap on Redream. And it's that very small print at the bottom we're interested in. io.recompiled.redream forward slash main activity. Note the capital M, the capital A. So that's the magic line that we want to use. Mm -hmm. Those of you that are hyperspin users on Android will just find my any file. So I'll put this on the Hyperspin forum, but the ROM path, you should know what you're doing anyway, but that's pointing to where your games are. The execute line, we put in exactly what we just saw in Quick Shortcut Maker. ROM extensions. Now, as Hyperspin users, I would really suggest you use CDI and CHD file format games. GDI would require you use subfolders, which causes all kinds of aggro in Hyperspin. There is something we call the the folder trick, you'll find that on the Hyperspin forum in the Android section. You need to edit your Dreamcast XML database file, and it has a knock-on effect to all your media folders. So it is actually quite a lot of work. You'll find it much easier to just make GDI games into CHD. So if you have CDI and CHD, it's just single files. You can just have that in one Sega Dreamcast ROMs folder. Okay. In the filters, we've got ROMs only equals true. Very sensible that you do that. Otherwise, as false, it would just show everything that's in the database. ROMs only true means it's only going to show what's in stock. So as I said, I'll put that on the uh, Hyperspin forum. Those of you that want to copy and paste it. We're just going to go close down with Dream. And we'll go into Arc Browser. This is my other favorite front end. I use it on the Shield TV and on my phone. The cool thing about this is that the developer is constantly working on this, unlike Hyperspin, and Freelancer very kindly uh, does presets for us. So I'm gonna add a new system, check for template updates. So he's not done it yet, but make sure you keep checking that, and he's always adding templates for new emulators that his users, his customers request. So if you're really desperate to get it done, because obviously I've already done this, what we can do is cheat a little bit. We can look for a Sega Dreamcast preset and just edit it. We'll keep going down. So there we go. Raycast, that'll do. So it's been added. We'll click on it. Now we can edit it. So change it to Sega Dreamcast, whatever you want, the name, but the description, I'd suggest you change that to Redream. ROM directory, point it to where your game files are. Nice thing about Art Browser is it, it doesn't have aggro with finding stuff in subfolders. So if you want to use GDI files, there's no real issue. Very good front end. We're going to keep going down. Emulator component. So we don't want to be Raycast. We want to use Redream. So this is where we would put in that line we got from Quick Shortcut Maker. Emulator action has already been done for us. As we go down, Scraper database, you can change that. That's where it's gonna get the artwork for your games once it's scanning. 
got platform there, Sega Dreamcast. That's all to do with scraping. So yeah, that's that. You would go database tasks and you can rescan and scrape all the games for your chosen system, which would be the Dreamcast. So it would look something like this. These are the games I've got on the SD card. It's not as flashy as Hyperspin, but yeah, works very well on the phone and Hyperspin doesn't. So we'll load something up. Ikaruga. I don't need to play the game. I'm just going to click the left thumb stick and that takes me to the main menu. You can see it is in fact Redream I'm using. And if I click the right thumb stick under input, I've bound that to be quit the emulator. And then we're back to the front end. We can choose another game to play. And that's that. So have a great day, guys. Have a great evening, whatever it is you choose to do after watching this video. And I'll see you all when I see you next. Ciao for now.